I'm Larry Yoder, and we're at the Family Sugar Bush in Northern Allen County. This represents, uh, with our grandchildren, uh, five generations that have been making maple syrup uh, in this woods. And when we think of maple sugaring, we usually think of New England, and certainly New England and uh, the southern part of Quebec are, are important uh, maple producing areas. However, maple sugaring is alive and well in Indiana. There are uh, many sugaring operations through northern Indiana as well as uh, uh, some in the southwestern part of the state. Maple sugaring represents the one agricultural crop that requires more than one generation. If we were to plant a maple seedling, it would be 50 years before that seedling was old enough to, to be tapped. So the trees that we have in this woods that we're tapping now are trees that a previous generation cared for. Okay, so to make maple syrup, we uh, of course tap the trees in the early spring when we have freezing and thawing temperatures. Once the spile is set, we hang the buckets. Uh, it takes about 24 hours if we've got a good run. And we uh, collect the sap then each day and uh, bring it in uh, on our uh, a cart with the barrels and it's pumped into storage tanks and goes then into the evaporator which is uh, wood fired in our case. Uh, we boil away about 40 gallons of uh, water out of the sap to make the one gallon of, of syrup. That uh, syrup then is packaged usually in pints or, or quarts and our customers come uh, to the farm. Uh, and so that represents one of the income streams for the farm. I grew up uh, maple sugaring with my granddad in this very, very same woods. The grandchildren continue. I don't care how many times uh, we go to a maple tree and, and set a tap, there is excitement to, as you see that, that sap flow. It makes us and brings us into very close contact with uh, the natural world. 